the prophetic clock, the Lord Jesus Christ showed me a percentage chart, I saw 98% of men in darkness, 2% of men were in the light, the Lord Jesus Christ then showed me the percentage of Christians 2% in the universal church, 1, 5% of the robes were spotted, I then saw 0, 5% of Christians truly ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ told me that when the Great Tribulation comes, the percentage of Christians who will abandon the faith will be 1, 8%, which will finally be 0, 2%, who will enter heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ said to me there are many who call on me with their lips, but they are far from me, for Christians live more in sin. The more the day approaches, the more men get warranted. The Lord Jesus Christ said to me there is a sin that passes unnoticed before the eyes of Christians, several remain idolaters without knowing it, the Lord Jesus Christ made a screen appear, I saw Christians in a house watching television, pagan program. There were angels of God and demons of the devil, on the screen I saw the angel of the Lord who had a clock in his hand, which served as a stopwatch, the Lord Jesus Christ told me. My angels are behind every Christian with clocks like stopwatches, the time you take to read your Bible is noted, the time you put in unnecessary distraction is also noted, if you spend more time in unnecessary distraction rather than on what concerns me, you will be called idolaters, I saw the demon on the screen, who had a clock that served as a stopwatch, he started laughing and said, this Christian spent more than 4 hours watching television but he only done 15 minutes in front of his Bible, the demon rejoiced, I saw these same Christians in front of their Bible, the angel of the Lord had a clock, the demon too, Christians found it painful to read their Bibles for hours, because they were indeterminately lazy, God showed me the souls of these sleeping Christians, the Lord Jesus Christ told me, the demon that Satan has released against my people is called the spirit of distraction. Some Christians when reading their Bibles or praying will simply say, I will do it later. Do you not understand what my word says, redeem the time for the days are evil, Ephesians 5 verse 16, avoid distraction, avoid everything that can destroy your souls, for I tell you truly your times are controlled by heaven, and by hell, take care of yourself. I then saw on the screen the devil who was setting up new technologies and new fashions, the Christians were impressed by these things, the devil was happy because spirits of lust animated these Christians, the Lord Jesus Christ told me, my people must know that the devil is coming to distract them, to prevent them from entering heaven, the kingdom of heaven is more wonderful than all this, the new technologies you see will distract you more, tell my people that it's the last hour, the devil is decided to distract them, don't be impressed by what is happening in the world for the world will pass away, this time we were in the kingdom, I saw the army of heaven in front of the great throne of the Father, there was a large clock rising in the heights, on the clock it was 11.59 pm, I watched what was going to happen, at that moment there was a great silence in the kingdom of heaven, the only sound that was heard was, tick tock, tick tack, I saw the Father on the throne and his glory was so great that I only saw his feet, the throne he sat on was so big, this throne had the appearance of a pure sparkling white stone, Revelation, 20 verse 11 Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, the earth and the sky fled from his face, and there was no place found for them. He who was on the great throne said, My return is already here, but when I look at the earth, men are not ready. At that moment I looked and I saw myriads and myriads of angels prostrating themselves before the great king, on the clock there was the minute hand which was about to join the hour hand which was already at twelve, the one who was on the big white throne stretched out his hand on the clock and he stopped the minute hand which was at fifty nine, according to the reading, he who was on the throne said, it is no longer possible for we to add time to men, for we have already warned them so much but they paid not attention to my warnings. His voice was like a great sound of great waters indescribable it was then that I saw the Lord Jesus Christ pleading for the earth and saying, only this time add a little more time to the world, to men, just the time of the last awakening, those who accept me will be saved and those who refuse me will be lost, 1 Timothy, 2 verse 5 for there is one God, 
and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, the one who was on the throne said, I will give again a little time to humanity, the hand of the Lord moved the minute hand back to 58, so that it was no longer 11.59 pm, but it was already 11.58 pm, the Lord Jesus Christ said to me, my father and I are one, I am the one you see sitting on the throne, the world is asleep in the sleep of sin, this is the time of the sleeping virgins, but some of them have their lamps lit, when the bridegroom comes some will be shocked and will say, we did not know the Lord was going to come so soon, the Lord Jesus Christ showed me the earth, planet earth, there was thick darkness, however, there were houses that had lamps on, they were shining lamps, the Lord Jesus Christ said to me, Joseph, these lights you see are the Christians who are now ready for the rapture of the church, may God bless you abundantly message received and published by your humble brother the prophet, Joseph of Cameroon for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, and for the edification of the whole body of Christ, pray for us.